Hi, Adrian Mayatero here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to use Zodo to edit your documents. Uh, really powerful stuff. So, what you basically do is you open your um, you open your Google Chrome browser. Okay, just you open a page like this. Okay, so. Uh, make sure you get something like that there on it will come up like that okay so what you do then you click on the word apps there okay and once you've done that uh, let me move this thing for you if I can then you get all these um, icons that come up okay then you click on the web store app right and once you have done that okay obviously this all this comes up but the most important thing for us is here so you see here now you are going to type Zodo there it doesn't have to be capital but let's say it's capital let me the X capital so Zodo right and then you, you click enter after that Okay, so what, what you do now here, what comes up is this here. And if you look at this, you see this one says Zodo PDF, it's an extensions at the top. And the other one, Zodo PDF, is, it's written apps. So what we're really interesting, interested in is apps. So I wish I could have extended this window a little bit so I don't keep on moving it around. So what we do then is under this one called apps, right? This one, the Zodo PDF apps. Uh, we're going to click on add chrome right there okay if it works add, add to chrome okay and then what happens then is a window pops up here that says zodo pdf viewer and editor it can display notifications then you are basically you're going to choose options either you cancel or you add up so obviously we add up okay and then what happens is the app is already added as you can see there Zodo, right just as simple as that and once you got the app going what you do is uh, you click on the app if it agrees for me to click on it okay and obviously yeah, the thing is up and running now you can see there and uh, how you use it then is that simple I'm going to make it as simple as possible so what you do is you click on view and edit and then you click on depending on what you are using if you're using Google uh, local file that means the file in your computers or Google Drive or Dropbox or wherever you want to get that document from okay uh, I'll just use local file right and then what I'm going to do basically I'm just going to choose any file whatsoever and hopefully I won't choose anything that is uh, more important there any file right so it depends on what you want so this is my picture right okay this is just my picture there so let's say it's just my picture okay and I wanted to edit this let's say I wanted to write something on it right so normally you would get like on a document maybe a document wants you to fill out your names or whatever you want to fill up then you click on let me show you one. you click on that T big T there okay which is this T here okay and once you've clicked on the T then you come on your document and oh, did you click on it the target T and then you sort of open up your text okay right and then you write whatever you want let's say this this one I was filling up my name then I'll just put Adrian there okay and that's my name there and uh, let's say you wanted to there's a there's a space where you're supposed to sign because this is basically we're going to use this for signing uh, let's say there's a space where you want to sign then what you do is select this it says freehand and then you sign whatever you are signing okay and that's it really done that's how to do it okay 
and then once you finish everything else you can always save this thing if you click the word save save straight to your uh, to your files the same files in your computer okay so you click that word save there save right as you can see let me show you how it looks like but just in case you face the same problem it's refusing to move so I, I've saved it anyway so and then when you go back to your file you should be able to find your file there okay that's as easy as that hopefully that's been helpful for you uh, leave a comment below and uh, thanks for listening to me today bye for now